boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's EDC week, you guys. And we have the set time, so let's dive in. Look, it was a little tough, but we figured it out. So I'm gonna share what sets you can find me at, meetup details, all the things and all that jazz. It's gonna be a jam-packed video, so let's go ahead and get into it. So kicking it off, we have the opening ceremony starting at 5 p.m. I accidentally said it was 7 p.m. in another video, but it's 5 p.m. <laughs> and so kicking it off, we have West End back-to-back -back Lucati. Honestly, this is a fun set to kick off EDC, so I think that's super dope for both of them that they get to open EDC. I don't know if we're gonna make the opening ceremony, so I don't wanna even like stress myself out. <laughs> we're gonna hope to make them. I wanna at least be there by seven. So we're gonna give ourselves some time to get there by seven. So we will see how that turns out. And then after that, everyone calls them a craze, but someone just told me it's a craze. A craze, I guess. Anyway, the king of do it to it. He is on at 6 p.m. My pass on that. Moving on to the first kind of time slot of everything. Also, can we just say, <laughs> there are now 15 stages slash experiences, I guess you could say at EDC. There's a lot going on. <laughs> so in my first spot here, I have Jem and Tori. I have been wanting to see them so bad. I heard a lot of good things about their Project Glow sets. And then moving on, so that one goes until I believe 7.40. So they have a 40 minute set. After that, we could probably just like get situated, explore and stuff. And then I would like to go see Tin Liquor at 8 p.m. at Circuit Grounds. I love Tin Liquor. I feel like that's gonna be a really amazing experience, especially with the Circuit Grounds production. It's just gonna be chef's kiss. Tin Liquor finishes at nine. I think we probably could see the beginning of Nora and Pure, but I think my boyfriend Chase wants to see Boston Bun, which is a house artist. I actually have a couple songs saved by him and I was like, oh yeah, like I'd be down. I think it's more of like a a bassy tech house kind of vibe. So that could be really fun. Austin Bun will take us to 10 15. Then from here, I think my boyfriend might go see Dennis Cruz. I might join along from Dennis Cruz, go to Maddion. <laughs> I haven't seen Maddion in so long. So we're gonna go see Maddion up until we go, brace ourselves. Chris Lake at Circuit Grounds. Are you? kidding <laughs> you guys saw how much i freaked out over lane eight just playing a chris lake song at circuit grounds but i get a full chris lake set at circuit grounds i'm not gonna be okay i really am not gonna be okay so we're very much looking forward to that you know i would really love to see dom dalla and neon garden because i would be so curious what he would be doing at neon garden but it's Chris Lake and Jaws off the deep end. Like that's also another like thing that I wanted to see. But again, Chris Lake, Carl Craig, a very iconic and amazing like pioneer is at Bionic Jungle. But again, Chris Lake. <laughs> then we have Chris Lake going into Eric Prids. It's just perfect, right? This is how it was last year for EDC. We had Lane 8 going into Eric Pritt. Aid was happy, Emma was happy, the world was happy. <laughs> now we got Aid happy again, Emma happy again, everything will be right in the world. So everyone was honestly freaking out about this conflict. There's no conflict for me. Um, I saw Seven Lions last year. I've seen him so many times and anyone else, it's just not gonna happen. We're gonna be at Eric Pritt's. But the one conflict I am upset about, Honey Dijon. This was the person I said I was most excited to see and she is during Eric Pritz. And I wanna be able to be there for a full set. So I will be there for her set at ARC Music Festival. It's just, that's just how the cookie is gonna crumble. And I'm not making any excuses. And then I'm also upset Matroda back to back Blue Claire. Wanted to see that, but Eric Pritz. I'm gonna see Eric Pritz up until Porter Robinson steps on kinetic field. I don't know if anyone else is freaking out over this, but the fact that Porter Robinson, our boy, is gonna be on kinetic field. And it's a DJ set. So this means he can go anywhere he wants. He could literally play techno for all he cares or house for all he cares. He's probably not going to, but I'm just saying. The realm of possibility here with Porter's set just expands when it's a DJ set. 
When it's live set, you know, we're just dealing with world or we're just dealing with nurture. With a DJ set, he's going to play whatever he wants. <laughs> so I will be there. I have to be there. So sadly, I will be missing G. Jones, which is upsetting. I might hear G. Jones on the way to Porter, <laughs> but I'm going to be missing G. Jones, which I'm really upset about. But I'm secretly hoping he comes to Austin at some point. Boris Precha was also on my list to see. However, it's Porter Robinson. So I just, I can't. <laughs> Boris will be at ARC Music Festival, so I'm secretly holding on to that. And then from Porter, I will either see the full set or I will leave early so I can go see Tale of Us. That is an artist I've been really wanting to see. I saw their set for Ultra and it looked amazing. So they seem like a very amazing melodic techno melodic house type artist that I think would just be so great to see. Tale of Us goes until 4 a.m. Now I'm going to leave Tale of Us for a hot second. I'm gonna go stop by Charlotte DeWitt at Circuit Grounds because I think that's crazy that they're putting more techno acts there. So I'm gonna go see that. And then I'm gonna stop by Bass Pod, <laughs> which I know, surprising. My two Bass Pod sets I wanted to see are on the same day and I can only see one of them. So I'm gonna see Subfocus and Wilkinson present Portals. I've really been digging both of their music lately. Like I've been really getting into drum and bass. So I will be seeing that. And then I will be finishing my night at Ben Bomer live at Neon Garden, which is gonna be beautiful. The sun's gonna be rising. <laughs> Wait, the sun is gonna be rising. Whenever I'm kind of tired of the drum and bass, I'm just gonna go back to Neon Garden and meet up with everyone there. But yeah, I will be at Ben Bomer. No ifs, ands, or buts. To round out Friday, just to make it more digestible, we got Gem and Tori, Tin Liquor, Boston Bun, Dennis Cruz, Maddion, Chris Lake, Eric Prids, and then skipping all of that, Porter Robinson, Tale of Us, Charlotte DeWitt, Subfocus and Wilkinson, and then Ben Bomer, Ben Bomer live. I'm really trying to see a balance of artists that I love versus artists I've never seen before. Friday has a lot of favorites, so we really tried to do that. Moving on to Saturday, now we have Curion doing the opening ceremony, which I think is awesome. She is an incredible deep house melodic type artist, has a lot of releases on Anjuna Deep. Um, and then we have Porter's housey type project slash he plays whatever the heck he wants to play kind of thing. <laughs> it's called Air to Earth. He debuted this with his festival Second Sky last year. He will be having a set from 5.30 to 7 p.m. I told Chase I would like to get there at some point just to see what's going on. Otherwise, he's playing at Electric Forest with that same project, so I won't be too mad about it. And then kicking it off, honestly, 7 o'clock starts out with a bang. You know, we got Blossom, we got Cream. And we got Indira Paganotto. Cream, I absolutely love some of their stuff. I'll link a set if I remember to. Um, but if you just look up Cream Liquid Lab on YouTube, like they do such a great job at like mashups and like really awesome house beats mixed with like very great vocals. Like it's just so good. So I would like to be there for that. Saturday is also the day that I will be doing a meetup. I am not hosting the meetup, Lunchbox is hosting the meetup and I will simply be there. And if you would like to meet me, then you can come to the Flower Tower at 8.30 p.m. and we can hang out, take photos, trade candy, all of the things, but I will not be doing a separate meetup just for me. So if you wanna meet me, come to the Lunchbox meetup at 8.30 p.m. Flower Tower, I will see you guys there. Um, I just do not want to have too many meetups on my schedule. I just want things to be easy this EDC. So, uh, if you want to meet me, go check out that meetup. And if you see me say, hi, I'm not bringing a totem. I need a break from the totem. But if you do see me, I promise I do not bite. Um, <laughs> you can definitely say hi to me. So don't worry. So because of the meetup being at 830, we might catch a little bit of James hype. Casablanca I've been wanting to see and they're going to be at ARC Music Festival so I'm kind of banking on that. LPGOB I've seen so many times in the past year so I really would like to see a little bit of James Hype and then I'm going to go to the meetup and then depending on how long that takes. Matt Stefania's on here. The dancer? He's that really good dancer. Oh go off. We also saw Mark V on, an, on that same ARC car, Parliament ARC car last year too. Um, we're gonna probably try and like bounce around and see the art cars and all the things but um, Yeah, James hype. So that will probably we'll see how long that meetup takes honestly 
Um, I would like to make it back for Matroda at Circuit Grounds or catch Honey Love at Stereo Bloom. To kind of go inward and see what feels good at that moment. Um, or even go to Audion just for some feels. I don't know. This was a little tough. Um, we got Biscuits. We got Yetep who I also love, more of like that future based melodic. Biscuits is Tech House, we got FJAAK, which is techno, we got Side Piece, which is amazing, but then we got Grimes. I am not like the biggest fan of Grimes, but I'm just so fascinated with her and curious about what kind of set is she gonna throw down. Also, is she gonna bring out Chris Lake for their song together? There's just so many questions I have. So I really would like to see what kind of set she has. And if we don't vibe with it, we will leave. <laughs> um, but that then takes us to around 11 o'clock. So this is kind of where Chase and I were like, we could go either way about anyone. You know, you got Vintage Culture, you got Duck Sauce, which is A-Track and Armin Van Helden. You got Alesso, you got LPGOB, Back to Back, Born Dirty. You got Cloverdale. Miha, Arm and Hammer, like this is a good time. Emma pointed out that Harry Romero is at Bionic Jungle at 11.30 and he is just someone that is a house music legend. So he is probably still on my list to actually see. So I think we're gonna check out a little bit of him. That way we can also check out Bionic Jungle. Um, and then from there, like I would love to see a little bit of Joseph Capriotti. I would love to see Clooney, but we just saw him at Seismic Dance event. These conflicts are just crazy. Then we kind of get to another big kind of conflict, which I know is Tiesto, Dry Wolf, Cascade, and Dead Mouse Presents KX5, Murata, Clooney. Like there's a lot going on here. We're gonna try and see a little bit of Jai Wolf, maybe. I might still be at Joseph Capriotti, who knows. I would like to go see Cascade and Dead Mouse present KX5 just to see what that feel is kind of like. Do I go see David Guetta and Morton a little bit or do I just go straight to Charlotte DeWitt? <laughs> Cause I am gonna see her. Even though I won't see her on Friday, I probably will see her at Neon Garden on Saturday. And then moving on, I will still be at Charlotte, but I mean, Sid is great, Vinny Vici is great. Man, this conflict's also crazy. A little Texas, Borgor, um, Subtronics, dang. That's also a crazy um, thing. And then from after Charlotte DeWitt ends at 3.30, I go to Joshua. This is an up and coming tech house artist that I've been wanting to see. So we will definitely check him out. And then ending the night, Chase was like, I don't really have anyone I wanna see, but I'm like, Hello, AC Slater, back to back Chris Lorenzo at Kinetic Field. I'm gonna try to drag him there, make him chug a Red Bull or something, <laughs> like two hours before and we'll be golden. Um, another recommendation is chapter and verse. Jason Ross at Circuit Grounds is gonna be beautiful too. I'm definitely gonna be at AC Slater, back to back Chris Lorenzo being absolutely feral for that night bass sound. <laughs> to round out Saturday, we might make it for the Air to Earth. Um, we could go to Indira Paganota or go to Cream. Um, I will go to James Hype for a little bit and then I will be at the Lunchbox Meetup. We'll either go to Honey Love or Matroda. Potentially see Biscuits, but we will definitely check out Grimes. Maybe check out Cloverdale. Uh, Harry Romero, we might check out. Joseph Capriotti, Jai Wolf. All of this here is just a big maybe. <laughs> And then we got Cascade and Dead Mouse. I might go check out Future Rave. Then we got Charlotte DeWitt, Joshua, AC Slater, Back to Back, Chris Lorenzo, or Chapter Inverse. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. Okay, so Sunday. We have Wednesday kicking us off. That's super cool for her. Bijou Back to Back, Habstract, which a lot of people pointed out to me that Habstract only has one set, and it's this opening ceremony, and like people that are taking the shuttles don't even get to see him, most likely, which I thought was pretty sad. And then Wednesday, my girl, she's going back to back with Nostalgics at 7 p.m., which I think is great at Kinetic Field. Definitely want to check out a little bit of that or check out West End. They really do put the awesome people early, so you go early, you guys. <laughs> oh, and I should also say Yolanda to be cool is dope. Oh, that's cool that they're at Cosmic Meadow. Um, I think that's great. Um, Party Boy 69. Okay, who is this person? I like kind of want to see it, but Luttrell is at Circuit Ground. So we're going to go see that. We saw Luttrell at Seismic Dance Event last year and it was really good. I really like him live. I was thinking about Tasha because I still haven't really seen a full set of hers. Also could go Lee Foss. Also could go Joel Corey. Also could go Deeper Purpose if I'm being honest. So we're going to keep that there. Wednesday has another set on Sunday. This girl's on fire. <laughs> 
Uh, Rusko at base pod would be dope. Do we have anyone? I mean, we could go see him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And this is just straight up rude if you like house music, okay? You got Dom Dalla at Kinetic Field. You got Shiba San at Cosmic Meadow. And then you got John Summit at Circuit Grounds. But wait. But wait. You got Sam Devine on the Forest R car. And then you got Wade at Stereo Bloom. And then you got Olario Alicante, which is like kind of house techno, whatever. Like... <sighs> Bro, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? So we will be at John Summit at Circuit Grounds. I feel like that is a very crazy and special moment to be there for. I don't know. John Summit is just killing it. And to see him at Circuit Grounds would just be crazy. I'd be curious what kind of crowd he brings. I would be curious what kind of set he plays. So I really want to experience that. So we will be at John Summit. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of annoyed by that conflict. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then moving on after John Summit ends, it looks like there's a break between him and Zoo. So he kind of ends at a certain point and then we have a little bit of a break. Like I might go see Chapter and Verse at the Allegiant Rave Hangar, could go to Martin Iken. I would probably go to Chapter and Verse because I've really been wanting to see him. And then my next person I would want to see is Enfisa Lediago. This is a really up and coming techno artist that I've been wanting to see. So I think I'm going to do that. I did have vintage culture back to back James hype hearted at a certain point in case I wanted to switch up the vibe. Um, Diamond Dallas Tex. I think this is Texas, little Texas techno alias. So I'm also hearting that because we've talked about that in our group. So we might go check that out. Um, but you got Zed, you got Chami, you got Liquid Stranger coming up. Um, and then here's some more craziness. So I really wanted to see Sam Devine, but I don't think that's going to happen. I might still heart her stuff just in case I can make it work. But like Sam Devine, if you didn't know, she's a house queen. She is one of the leaders of Defected Records. Like she is just amazing. And I've really been wanting to see her, but I don't think it's going to happen because here we go. I'm going to see the beginning of Adam Bear. And then we are gonna go to Elenium because I still have not seen a full Elenium set, honestly, in a while. Like I didn't, I didn't see any Elenium, honestly. I saw a little bit of a set last year at Abidabi, but I've been yearning for a full Elenium set. We will leave Elenium though to go to Zed's Dead because <laughs> I also have not seen Zed's Dead since Imagine 2019 and I really just need to go there for my soul. <laughs> like my soul is craving a Zed's Dead set. So we will be going there, but Adam Bear has a three hour set. So we're gonna leave for a hot minute and then we're gonna come back. And then the way we're finishing out our EDC is with the queen, Deborah DeLuca, closing out Neon Garden. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a journey. I'm really sad about the Zed's Dead after hour set, but like Deborah DeLuca. If you don't know, you don't, now you know. And if you are curious about it, go to it. I'm sad about the Cascade redo set, but like it's Deborah DeLuca. No ifs, ands, or buts. It is done, period. <laughs> you guys, recording at night makes me kind of loopy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I've been saying some weird shit this video. Um, but that is basically it. Ground out Sunday, looking at Wednesday, Back to Back Nostalgic, West End, Luttrell, Deeper Purpose, or Tasha. Might check out Sam Devine before John Summit, if we can make it work. Uh, she's at the Forest House R car, which I didn't see where that was on the map. Um, they released the map, so I don't know. And then we got chapter and verse at Allegiant Rave Hanger that I could go check out. Then I would go see a little bit in, of Enfisa Lediago. Then I could go to the... Then I could go to Little Texas Techno Project. <laughs> then go to Adam Bear. Then go to Elenium. Yeah, there's no way I'm seeing Sam Devine in that. Elenium, ZZ, back to Adam Bear, Deborah DeLuca. That is EDC. We will see how this actually turns out. But if you are going to EDC, let me know what sets you are most excited for. Um, and I'm so excited to be back. I will be vlogging the whole experience. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. If you have any last minute questions, definitely let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.